Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration of how to boost a dead 12 volt battery on your vehicle using a portable booster power pack. The model I'll be using here in this demonstration is a 12,000 milliamp lithium ion jump starter and power bank combo made by OEM Tools model number 24475 from Mobile Distributor Supply. A link to this product will be included in the description below. The reason for a dead battery can vary from something as simple such as leaving your lights on to more complicated areas such as a failing battery, alternator isn't charging, corrosion on the battery terminals, or a parasitic draw. Before we start, make sure the booster does have a sufficient charge in order to turn over your engine. These portable jump starters will have various ratings which states its maximum engine size and cold cranking amps. This model is good for up to 300 cold cranking amps and 5.4 liter V8 engines. When purchasing one of these portable boosters, always ensure the maximum engine size exceeds your engine size. In this example, I'll be boosting a 3.4 liter V6 engine. First locating your vehicle's battery, a majority of the time it's under the hood, but also can be found in your trunk or under the rear seat depending on the vehicle. I'm laying down a clean rag as a protector to place the booster pack on so it doesn't get scratched. If you're doing the same, make sure it's in a safe spot away from any moving components such as a belt or fan. Depending on how low the battery charge is, the engine can turn over very slow, making a clicking sound which would be the solenoid trying to activate on the starter or no response at all when turning the key. The battery post will be marked with a positive and negative symbol so each clamp for the booster will need to go to the appropriate contact. Typically, red is for positive, however this can vary with European vehicles and can also be black. Negative is typically black, but on European vehicles this can be brown. It's best to go by the battery markings instead of the wire coloring. As for the clamps for the booster, red goes to positive and black goes to negative. Connect the clamps to the contacts, you may need to pull back the contact covers if equipped. On one side of the booster there will be a rubber cover that needs to be pulled back and this exposes the connections for the clamps. This booster is also equipped with a smart clamp which automatically senses if there's too much voltage or a short to prevent damage to the booster or harm yourself. There is a green LED which indicates everything is good, if not then there is an issue. Some boosters such as this have an override option, however you will need to ensure there is no problem before continuing. The battery terminal clamps are also made from copper on this particular model. This ensures that we have excellent conductivity. Connect the clamps to the booster port. And now start your vehicle. Once the vehicle is running, immediately disconnect the booster, being careful not to interfere with any moving parts, and you're done. If the battery was low, it's important to build up the charge by driving the vehicle for a certain period of time. This will depend on your battery's capacity and vehicles. This can be anywhere from 30 minutes to 1 hour of driving. It's best to drive the vehicle. At a higher RPM, the alternator will have a higher charging output. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.